linear combinations. A vector v is called a linear combination of vectors v1, v2. Yeah, so a vector v is a linear combination of the vectors of v1, v2 to vk. So k vectors. Yeah, these are general. This is a general notion, so we assume that all vectors are in some space Rn. So each of the vectors has n coordinates. What we call v a, lin v a linear combination of those, if there are scalars, c1, c2, ck, so k scalars, so k, k reals, such that v is a special combination of these vectors, c times a v1 plus c times a v2 plus c times v3 until ck times vk. So we might just write this a little bit different and more efficiently taking sums. So where we have an index i is 1 to k ci vi. So for example, Look at the vector 2, 2, 2 in R3. Well, this vector is a linear combination of two others. Of one yeah, is a linear combination of a vector 1, 0, 1. And the vector 0, minus 1, 0, for instance. Why is that? Well, 2 to 2 can be written as 2 times the first vector, 2 times the first vector minus 2 times the second one. Yeah. So check that the coordinates are the same. 2 times 1 minus 2 times 0 equals 2, and 2 times 0 minus 2 times minus 1 equals 2, etc. Well, the vector 2, 2, 2 is definitely not a linear combination of 1, 0, 1. Or 1, 0, 1. And instead of 0, minus 1, 0, we now take the vector 0, 0, 1. Yeah, why is that? Well, for any pair of scalars, C1 and C2, we may calculate the vector C1 times 1, 0, 1, plus C2 times 0, 0, 1, which equals the first coordinate C1 the second one is 0, and the third one is C1 plus C2. But you see that for any constants C1 and C2, the second coordinate will be 0, regardless of the choice of C1 and C2. Well, so more examples. So consider the plane or R2, then any vector in the plane may be written as linear combination of standard unit vectors. Yeah, so we need to find for any, any vectors a special combination such that it can be written as C times E1 plus C times E2. 
E1 being the vector 1, 0, and E2 being the vector 0, 1. Well, how do we see this? Well, that's in fact very easy. Take any vector x1, x2 in R2, and it can be easily expressed at x1 times 0, 1, 0, plus x2 times 0, 1. Yeah, so the scalar that is in front of the first uh, standard unit vector is x1 and the second is the second coordinate of the vector. But we can express x1, x2, any vector also uh, uh, we can express any vector as a linear combination of v1 is 0, 1, and v2 is 1, 1. Well, how do we see this? Well, x1, x2, any vector x1, x2 is x1 times 1, 0, plus x2, 0, 1, which equals x2 minus x1, x2 minus x1 times 0, 1, plus x1 times 1, 1. x1 times 1, 1. Yeah, if you see it, then you get Yeah, so we may write, for instance, the vector 3, 4 is 3 times the uh, 1, 0, so the first standard unit vector, plus 4 times the second one, so plus 4 times the vector 0, 1, but also as 1 times the 0, 1, plus 3 times a 1, 1. What does it mean? Well, look at the picture now. So we write the plane, so we have an x-axis and a y-axis, and we have a kind of coordinate system built up from the vectors e1 and e2. So here we write, so in white we see the axis, and here we see e1. And here we get 2 times e1, 3 times e1, and we may express any vector as a special combination of E1 and E2 and multiples. So now we get the second coordinate system. Now we have still the same in the x direction. Each line here we go up 1, 1, 0, 0, 1. And here we see 1, 1. So we get a different grid in which we, we measure multiples of 1, 1, and multiples of 0, 1. Then again, we can express the vector 3, 4, which means that we need to go one step in the 0, 1 direction and three steps in the 1, 1 direction. Yeah, so the same vector expressed in other vectors.